Bull Smokes Coffee proudly presents Non-Typical Nation. I am pumped right up. Awesome, now the work begins. Look at that. So I lost sleep over this and I never took my chance when I had it. We got it, so I am absolutely pumped. Guys, I'm at an absolute loss for words. And I'm feeling really good. Pull down, boys. Now don't try this at home. Lay the smack down. Big bear, big white patch. We just heard the death moan. I never thought I was going to make it that alone, my bow. Great shot, buddy. You just dropped him. Finally, 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 my first bull elk. I'm so excited, guys. It was a, a heck of a day and I wouldn't trade it for anything. I had a ton of fun. I smoked him, yes! Oh, this is awesome, guys. What a year. Non-Typical Nation is made possible by these great brands. Old Smokes Coffee, Crafted Coffee for the Courageous, Geopack Hunt, inspired by nature, powered by technology. Geocam, premium quality cellular trail cameras. APA Archery, we are not the same. Badlands Canada, it's all in your approach. Smith Game Calls, you call the shots. Black Widow Innovations, always deadly. Dave Booth Taxidermy, Northern Alberta's foremost wildlife studio. Antler Obsession, designed, tested, and proven for Canadian big game. Kodiak LED Lighting, commercial, truck, and off-road LED lighting. Generally, hunters love wolves. We are amazed by their intelligence and sheer beauty. They are without a doubt one of the most magnificent animals in North America. Here in Alberta, we spend a lot of time in wolf country. Now that doesn't mean we see them all the time, but we do see firsthand what these wolves are capable of. They're beautiful, smart, strong, fast, and unsurpassed as a predator of game large and small. Therein lies the problem. When wolves are left unchecked, they can and do decimate ungulate populations to the point where very few animals are left. All those folks who say they only kill the second week have never found a mature moose freshly killed by a pack of wolves. This isn't a rare sight for hunters to see. They have never seen the trail of death a pack of wolves leave behind as it kills to teach its pups how to hunt, or just for fun, eating nearly none of the animal they just killed. Here in Alberta and in many counties across Canada, bounties are offered to hunters and trappers in high density wolf areas. And that folks is where we kick things off today. We are tagging along with an experienced wolf trapper in a high populated wolf zone in north central Alberta. Right on, well we just made it out here. It was about 40 clicks back off the highway. We met with John, we got the quads unloaded, and uh, now we're gonna head out. So what's the game plan? We're gonna go out to the farthest bait. We'll see where they're running. I have a couple baits on the way in. Okay. We'll take a skip by. And when you get to close to a bait, no peeing, no spit, you can walk where I walk. Okay. And uh, we'll be setting some blind sets. There's some trails, they're coming off on the riverbank. So we'll put some sets in there. Okay, so we're going along the river pretty much. Yeah, all okay. along the river. These ones hang mostly in a river. Okay. This is their far end boundary. Right on, right on. We'll, we'll get the quads loaded up and, and rock on. All right, right on. Thanks, man. Awesome. Thanks for helping us out. Yeah. Uh, the biggest thing is scent. They're gonna smell it regardless, but you do your best to cover any scent that we have. So I use uh, spruce bows. Take your gloves off and cut. Okay. You'll 
rub these in your hands. People use gloves, I don't see the point. Yeah. Because their gloves still have the smell. It's like setting a gun. When you look down your barrel, it's the same way when you're snaring these wolves. Okay. You use their tracks as your, your sight. Then I usually try to put my tie wire as high as I can. Okay. So if you have it too low, like for here, he's going to run, he's going to back up, he'll chew this. Oh, okay. But the higher, higher you go, the less chance that he'll chew it. Then I'll go here and I'll measure, make sure I have enough room. Set it, you come through his tracks here, here, he zig this way, so he's gonna yeah. do the same thing. Okay. And I'll put the a chin up. Help camouflage the snare and then also you lift his head. And that's how you do it. Perfect. Right on. This segment is brought to you by Old Smokes Coffee, crafted coffee for the courageous. So, John got a call that there was a couple of horse colts got uh, killed by some wolves up here. So there's a bounty on them. And so he's coming to set some wire out here and see if he can't uh, catch catch a couple of the wolves. So there's tracks all along this road and we're gonna see if we can't see one today. So stay tuned. There's two spots I dug up. I wonder if it's from the horses by. Could be. In yeah, both tracks there too though. Yeah. I'll go jump up here. Yeah, so running up the road like this, would it just be traveling or do you think yeah, they'll be... travel through or they'll pick a sick one out? Okay. And uh, we might catch up to them yet. Still have a lot of ground over this way. Okay. As we pulled up here, there's fresh snow here. We just spooked the wolf off. There's a road that leads that way. So maybe we'll get a shot at him. We just found the dead colt that was uh, killed yesterday, just behind John. He was uh, trying to howl the wolves in. So we'll see what happens. Poor little guy, he ripped the gut right out. The wolf come here and they'll grab their tummy and they'll, they'll rip it out. Another wolf will hang on your head, but the horse won't, won't fight, eh? Sometimes they'll grab their tail. You can see this one's tail. You can see where the wolf grabbed it. Shoot right off. Right here. So a wolf will come and grab a tail. One will grab the head. Then the other ones will come on the side and rip the guts right out. Pretty horrible way to go, but that's life, eh? If people don't keep their numbers down, this happens, eh? Because there's too many out here. There's less moose, less deer. So their natural food is almost gone. So they'll come to a, 
an animal that doesn't really know what they are yet. But this is pretty sad. So what's that there? An old wolf kill or someone's bait? That's somebody's dog. Oh. So that's someone's dog the wolves have killed. Yeah. Square little guy. You were wondering where your dog is. Oh, let that kid know his dog's here. That's the wolf trail's right there. So, loop around, there's another trail there. Once again, this is just a small, small skimpy tree. Yep. But when a wolf falls, the tree wants to pull back. So he's gonna come, he's gonna get wrapped up, and he's gonna pull on these. These I'm gonna pull back, tightening this lock. In a couple of seconds, he'll be sleeping. Just like a very deep set chokehold. Yeah. as tight as you can so it doesn't slip down. Yeah, and then it warms up, eh? This narrow slide. It's usually good to go on a, a twig. And I have a natural chin up. With that brush underneath? Yeah. It'll also camouflage the snare. Hide the whole bottom of the snare for you. This segment is brought to you by Geopack Hunt, inspired by nature, powered by technology. Okay guys, so it is December 19th today. Um, I'm with John the Trapper here and uh, you know he's been having some great success trapping these wolves this year. This is a highly populated wolf area and you know people rely heavily on him to uh, to manage these these critters. Um, so I'm heading out with him today. Tommy and I were with him last year and uh, we spent a couple days with you and just seen the havoc these wolves caused on, on some of these areas. Um, we never got on to any wolves, so we're hoping today that we can get on to something. Um, what's the game plan? We're gonna go down this way, we'll check a couple sets. There's two baits we'll check. So we'll put in some blind sets and see if the wolves came through in this past couple days. Awesome. Well, I'm pumped right up. Um, you've already caught a few this year. Yeah. Well, let's get on the trail and uh, hopefully we can have some success. Sounds good. Right on. When uh, you catch one, they'll, they'll sit and wait. They won't just leave. So there's little bump prints all over on the sides where they're waiting. Yeah. And we got, that looks like a male, big so, head. So we got one over here. Yeah. Well, that, this might be one of the, the boss. That's why they are sitting up there. They'll still be, they'll be in the area. Usually I had for three, four days. Okay. That's what I, I've noticed. Wow. Maybe other trappers, they're different, but yeah. when uh, you catch these big guys, they don't like to leave them, eh? No. Because it's, well, it's their boss. Yeah. And uh, I caught one this year. He had a, a broken leg. Wow. From a, I'm thinking a moose. Yeah. Because on the hide, there was a, an indent that looked like a hide. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Holy smokes. 
Yeah, yeah this is a big boy. <laughs> it's huge. It's really yeah. well furry though. I can't get over that. Just how nicely furry he is. And even his tail, you know, it's, yeah. you know, a lot of times you'll have a nice wolf, but yeah. not good tail. And he's got a beautiful tail and well furred all the way through. He's a big guy. I'll get him out of here and we'll drag him up there. Okay. And so we'll leave him on the trail for our way back. Yeah. Okay. Do I have more down this way? Like I said, the bait's about maybe a mile from here. Okay. So. Well, let's check here, her out. There'll be more. Right on, man. Well, they made it through once, they'll come again. These tracks are to and from. Okay. So that means they'll, they'll always use this trail all winter. They'll come back and forth. See you in a couple days. Another camera hung up. I love this camera. It texts the photos directly to my phone. It has an extremely long battery life. It's built for the harshest conditions and has a two year warranty. Check out Reconico Outdoors today. This segment is brought to you by Antler Obsession. Designed, tested, and proven for Canadian big game. This looks like a female. Okay. That's a narrow, narrow head. Yeah. Can it walk? Can it walk? Oh, they're not scared. They're walking in my trail too. Another perfect catch right behind the ears. Perfect. That's where you want them. Yeah. Oh my God, that's a nice color. Well, it's crucial to catch these females too if you really want to regulate that population. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'll pick it up and we'll put some more snares before we carry on. Okay, so we won't drag it, we'll pick it up yeah. and lift it out. We, Are we taking it out now or on our way out? Yeah, I'll carry it, it to the sled. Okay. And uh, if you drag it, they'll know something's up. Yeah. But if you carry it and try not to rub trees, yeah. they'll come back within 12, 12 feet of where she was caught. Okay. And it's nice, it's a tight area. Yeah. So we'll catch another one within four feet. So how many snares are you going to put around there? I'll probably put two. Okay. There's a nice tight spot where they went down to that river. Well, we just got to the end of the trail. We're back at the truck here and we got the two wolves unloaded. Um, pretty darn good morning, if you ask me. I'm sure you've had dozens of days and mornings or more like this, but for me to be here with you and uh, experience this is pretty special. Um, uh, but just so many wolves around here. Oh, there's lots, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's a lot of fun because for you, there's, there's no shortage of them. Yeah. There's so many around. 
beautiful dark markings oh, on him. And you look at his arms too, hey? Yeah. You see that? The markings really come nice. all the way down. Yeah. I like the the paint on their face. Yeah. Yeah, they got it right under the eyes yeah. and right over top. And uh, they're always different. Eh? They're never, never, never the, same. the same. No, no never the same. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So you probably get asked ask this all the time, but what's your reasoning to trap wolves? Why do you do it? Well, I enjoy trapping, and if we don't tie, take down their populations, we don't have no moose, there won't be no elk, no deer. They start attacking livestock, uh, horses, cattle, dogs. I've had uh, people come up and show me videos of their dogs getting drug off their porch wow. from wolves. So if you don't take their numbers down, then you're not going to have too much left. No, and they're so smart. Yeah, um, it's they, it's so tough to hunt them. Like yeah. to actually hunt and shoot one, it is tough. You'll get lucky if you if you get one or two a year. Yeah. Um, you know, so snaring and trapping is is you know the only way you can really get in multiples yeah. in a year. And there's not many guys that are pressing them like you are. So um, we need guys like you to do this, oh, or there's yeah. going to be no moose. So. Awesome. Well, that'll wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much. And thank you, John. Really yep. appreciate it, man. Yeah. Awesome. Subscribe to the Non-Typical Nation podcast and keep up with the team on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Oh man, Old Smokes, that is a great cup of coffee. And I really like the ambience in your shop here with all these wonderful racks on the wall. Yeah, we smoke roast these little buggers. We don't convince you roast them like the other guy. We thought it brings the natural flavors. Come on, you guys. You're always talking about racks. You gotta check out my rack. I just picked this thing up this morning. How do you like them? Use code NONTYPICAL for 10% off your order today.